Welcome to day 30. So this is exam day. Everything you've been doing for the past 29 or so days has led up to today. Luck won't have anything to do with it. Sometimes there is bad luck in the, the software breaks at the, tent in, at the testing centre, which I've had actually happen to me a couple of times, but it shouldn't really happen to you. It's a fairly rare thing. You know, sometimes we get an exam that is just full of quite hard, tricky questions and it throws us off and people sometimes get nervous and uh, they're not successful in the exam. But don't take it personally because I've, I've failed exams and now I've written best-selling Cisco study guides that uh, I sell on Amazon. I work with a dual CCIE who failed his CCNA five times in a row. So, you know, just uh, take it in your stride. My tips for the exam, uh, get there early, make sure you know where you're going, don't sort of look for the location on a map unless it's miles and miles away. So I do like to do a test drive to the testing centre if at all possible or find out which trains will get me there. Get there early so you don't have any nerves about um, missing the start of the exam. Find a coffee shop then and um, I'd avoid drinking caffeinated beverages to be honest because it just they obviously give you the jitters and it can make you want to go to the toilet and it just takes away you can use you can go to the toilet during your exam but it's obviously the clock is running so you're not going to get that time back make sure you take plenty of change if you're going to pay for a car park somewhere check on what you do need to take it will be at least one form of photographic id such as a driving license or passport but normally you'll need two forms of it id at least one photo id but just check on your um, booking confirmation. Speaking of which, make sure you do take your booking confirmation. I've turned up for an exam before and they told me there wasn't one booked, but I actually showed them confirmation that I had booked it for the right time and place and the right exam. So they managed to sort that out for me. So just make sure you take proof that you've, you've done your booking and it's also got your registration numbers and all that sort of thing on, so you can uh, verify that it's you turning up. And you know, give it your best shot. All it, all it is, the exam is only a knowledge check of what you already know. So it's nothing more than that. And plenty of successful people have failed in the past. Now when you do pass, make sure you celebrate. I'm sure you've, if you've got family, uh, children, a wife, a uh, husband, whatever, you've probably spent time away from them. So plan something nice to celebrate. Um, it's a great achievement to pass any Cisco exam because they're all hard and the, the more advanced exams just get harder and harder. So make sure you take time to celebrate your achievement, pat yourself on the back, and then uh, get ready to study for the next exam because it's continual learning in the world of networking, which is why I find it so interesting. When you pass, please post on the forum and uh, send me a picture of you holding your certificate so we can encourage others to do the same.